I do appear to have got into the habit of reviewing team the season goalkeepers, so I may as well do the La Liga one as well. In this video today, we're going to try out the 96 rated Jan Oblak. If you want to improve your ultimate team and need some coins to do so, you should check out my sponsor, IG Vault. There's a link to do so in the description. And if you use the code Kieran, you'll get yourself a nice little discount off your order. Now, I can't stress enough how much I dislike the fact that EA are only doing one goalkeeper for team the season because it's just so harsh on other goalkeepers in the leagues. For instance, in the Premier League, Emi Martinez 100% deserves a blue card, and in La Liga, um, Bonner 100% deserves a blue card. It really is a shame that they don't get special items, even though they don't mean, you know, a lot in game because they're normally not massive upgrades, but still, I just think, like, they should get them because, you know, it's deserved. Anyway, let's talk about this Oblak, shall we? How is he in-game? Well, we have, we don't know yet because we haven't used him. So, let's go ahead and find out. So, this is his card. Uh, stands at six foot two, freestyle weak foot. Um, in terms of traits, comes for crosses and long throw. Those will be useful. And in regards to in-game stats, they're really freaking good. And with a basic chem style, um, aside from the kick-in, they're all technically rated 99 in-game, which is great. Another important stat worth noting is the reaction stat of which this Oblak um, has 88 reactions. So uh, something to note there. I really do wish the reaction stat was visible on this page for goalkeepers because, like I said before, it is a notable stat for them. Anyway, um, there isn't too much else to say. Obviously, we're not going to mess around with chem styles. I think basic is absolutely fine for him. And to be fair, for most team this season goalkeepers, like, there isn't too much point in changing chem styles just because when they're this high rated, all the stats are going to quote-unquote 99 in-game. Anyway, um, in the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this Oblak item. Do you think he deserved it? I certainly do, by the way. I wasn't taking anything away from him by mentioning Bonner. I just still wish they did two goalkeepers. Anyway, in the comments, also let me know who is your favourite goalkeeper in FIFA 21 this year. Okay, so up against all back in this one is the foot birthday Palacio. Oh, bad defence from me. I just made a bad read and unfortunately them cross goal shots do go in quite regularly. Oh wow. Got a bit fortunate there. That clearance wasn't you know ideal, but uh all back collects. Oh, nice save. Whoa, that was very unconvincing, but at least the ball went out. How has Payet got through there? Good save from Oblak. Really good save. And it's lagging. And that's why I just can't do anything right now. Not the busiest of outings from Oblak. But uh, I swear he made more than two saves in that game. The goal that he conceded was, you know, a, a typical goal like in this game. Like cross... Cross goal strike, uh, they're pretty hard to stop, so I don't blame him for that. Oblak could be a busy boy in this game. We've come up against a very good looking Siri side. Oh dear, we're in trouble here. Good save from Oblak, but the rebound. <sighs> I mean, the initial shot stop was nice, but it ended up in the path of uh, Lozano. Whoa, that was. What, what is that from Oblak? Oh my. Nice. Oh, oh, Black once again. Oh, what a save that is. Was that Mendy? <sighs> Just saved our back there. I'm not sure what my opponent's tactic is from the corner there, but our back's cleared it. Oh, well in our back. I mean, the save wasn't particularly convincing, but he made the save nonetheless. Thought Oblak actually had a pretty solid game in that one, to be fair. The uh, second goal he conceded, don't think he could have done anything about. The first one, the deflection, ah, these things happen. It wasn't ideal, but it, it happened, I guess. But um, did make some key saves in that one. In this one, Oblak is going to be trying to keep a clean sheet against Neymar and team the season, Romarinho, who is absolutely brilliant. Okay, nice easy shot there for Oblak to collect. Oh, interesting shot type there. I mean, I feel like I could have saved that. Chance for Oblak. Not the worst ball in the world, but ultimately we don't end up retaining possession from it. Not the best outing from Oblak in that game. Did make a couple of saves, but uh, yeah, the goals he conceded, there was not too much he could do about them, to be fair. Okay, this is going to be an interesting challenge. We are up against a 94 rated Messi and also a prime Torres. My opponent's got a pretty nice team and I'm I'm really worried he's going to play five at the back with uh, this kind of setup, but uh, hopefully not. Oh, well that is just stupidly unfortunate, isn't it? 
it's Torres up against Dobak here. What's he going to do? Ah, oh, well, I mean, it was either pull him out and risk the chip or just see what would happen. I was going to go for the goalkeeper movement, but with a player like Torres, I was just kind of hoping that my opponent would mess up the shot, to be honest. One thing I have to comment on with this Dobak card is the distribution out the back is nowhere near as good as some of the other team this season, goalkeepers. Get close to him. Good save from our back there. Really nice reaction stock. Let's keep Messi off that left foot, please. Otherwise, that's going to happen. <laughs> no keeper saving that. Oh, big, big block there. I think that was by Dembele. Don't know if the goalkeeper had that one covered. Our back certainly is going to get tested now. I've uh, unfortunately got myself a red card. Oh, keeper, please. Oh, get rid. That's probably the best pass he's done for me since I've had him in my club. Obak wasn't particularly busy in this game. Obviously, we did concede twice and unfortunately not keep the clean sheet. But the goals he conceded, I really don't see other goalkeepers making the saves. Especially that messy one. That was top bins and uh, no keepers getting to that. So, now we've had Obak in the club for a decent bit of game time. He's played six games for us. I think it's time to give a bit of a verdict on this card. And all in all... I don't think this card is worth it just straight off the bat. Like, I honestly don't see a difference between this item and his Road to the Final card, like his prior one. It does not feel like an upgrade versus that card at all, if I am being honest, which is uh, unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, it, it was good. Uh, I don't think it was anything spectacular. Out of all the team this season goalkeepers that I've used so far, I would probably say currently he's at the bottom of the pile, which is kind of surprising considering he is the highest rated one. But um, the others were just a bit more effective in the game for me. Now, that's not saying this Obak card is bad by any means. But um, yeah, I just don't think it's as good as the other team season goalkeepers that are currently available in the game. Um, so what do I like about this card? Um, the fact that he came from crosses and um, handled corner situations really nicely and just crosses in general. Um, not the quickest off the line though, something to mention there compared to the other goalkeeper so that's a bit unfortunate but like from close range he did actually make some really nice stops which was a uh, very very pleasing like he is a good shot stopper the problem I had with him was his handling was nowhere near as good as uh, the stats suggested and I think you'll see that in the footage he'll make the block but that ball can literally bounce anywhere and did bounce anywhere with this guy which was uh, a bit frustrating another thing i want to comment on is this guy's distribution his passing is just nowhere near as good as other goalkeepers or at least wasn't for me and um, i would regularly overhit passes with this guy which i just wouldn't with players like edison who obviously edison's a bit of an exception he's got ridiculously good distribution he's like no you're in this game but um, that's a key part of my game. I like to spring counter-attacks from goalkeepers. And with all back, it's just not as easy. So uh, that's a bit unfortunate. But um, as I say, like, in terms of like shot stopping and like his positioning, I think he's very good in those areas. But I do wish his handling was a bit better. And um, as I say, I personally would like to see his air distribution being a bit better. But that wasn't to be. So um, unfortunately, I just can't recommend picking up this card. As I say, just in general, I don't think it's much of an upgrade or if or an upgrade at all versus the Road to the Final card. So um, yeah, this one's going to get a bit of a thumbs down from me, which is a bit weird like the, the way goalkeepers work in FIFA just isn't correct clearly because like as I said this is by far the highest rated goalkeeper I've used so far in terms of team and season goalkeepers and for me so far it's been the you know worst performer which is a uh yeah, a bit frustrating, but that is that. Um, I'm sure there'll be some people who really, really do enjoy this goalkeeper card, but that's, once again, just how goalkeepers are in Ultimate Team. Depending on what your experience is with the goalkeeper, if he's made like an insane save, you're obviously going to like him, but if he's made a stupid error, you might not be too keen on him. And that's kind of what happened with me. He made a couple of, like... Not like massive errors, but a couple of minor errors for me, which just did dent my confidence in this goalkeeper choice. So, uh, yeah, that is my opinion on this Oblak card. Um, if you have a different experience with this card, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. As I say, I don't think he's a terrible goalkeeper, and for some people, I'm sure he will be good. But uh, ultimately, I don't think he's a you know top-level goalkeeper that you must have in your team. So, uh, I would avoid it, especially for 200k. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the team this season. All back. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please do leave a like rating on it. Be sure to be active in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.